Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lawless. Today we're looking at Kyle Beckerman's stoppage time winner for Real Salt Lake against the Portland Timbers. It's a familiar instance when a desperate defense faces off against a confident and energetic attack. All right, let's wind it back and break it down. At this point, the Timbers are trying to push out, but the ball is with RSL's Chris Winger out on the left side. There's very little pressure on him. Darlington Nagby and James Marcelin are approaching, but they're coming very slowly. That allows Winger to play an easy ball down the line to Fabian Espindola. From there, Espy takes over, and the Timbers do very little to make it difficult on him. Espindola takes a few touches toward the area, and this is the moment of truth. Portland's Lavelle Palmer, who's come wide to pressure him, decides to lay off. He's obviously worried that Espindola will skin him, but Palmer actually has help. Both Nagby and Marcelin have tracked back to provide support. In a second, we'll discuss if that was smart or not, but in this moment, it means Palmer should have closed Espindola down. Three yards of space in that part of the field is way too much. Espindola recognizes that he can't dribble past Palmer because of the cushion, so he takes advantage of the space to chip the ball to the top of the box. But how is Beckerman so open at the top of the box? Brings us back to Marcelin. He makes the run defensively with Javier Morales, covering ground and also providing support for Palmer. That leaves Eric Alexander. He's the one who should be looking at the space in Beckerman. Even the Jumbotron at the stadium had an eye on Beckerman, but nobody picked it up and the ball is played through and he buries it. Which brings us to the actual strike. Beckerman's shot takes a lot more skill than people are giving him credit for. His technique is perfect. Toe down, knee over the ball, striking straight through. And most important, his concentration is unwavering. Not even his teammate Johnny Steele's raised leg is a distraction. Beckerman just focuses on the shot and buries it. And with that, the Timbers' hearts are broken. Well, that's it for today's edition, but join us next week for another edition of Anatomy of a Goal!